so in our automation framework we need to create the property or parameter for our suit xml file so that will be useful when we run this project with the maven command in on local machine or if you are running this project from the jenkins on some remote machine so this suit xml file parameter will help you to run this specific xml file from your framework so just open the pom.xml file and under the properties section we need to add one more property for suit xml file okay so between this i have provided the sanity that means this is my default xml file that i want to run so if i run this project with the help of mvn clean test command then it will take this by default sanity name and if i want to run some other xml file i just need to use this command i'll add it here mvn clean test after that give hyphen d and your property name for running regression we can give like this regression so this property value we need to use under the surefire plugin so under the surefire plugin we have this configuration section here we can configure our suit xml file parameter so how we can accept that parameter value we need to use the dollar and curly bracket and whatever parameter name you have given so in our framework all our xml files are available under the suit files folder which is under test runner folder so we need to provide the full path here test runner under that we have suit files and under that whatever parameter value we have that dot xml so next two things that any automation framework should have one is to take this screenshot on any test case failure automatically and second one is retry logic so that we can retry our failed test case automatically so that class we will create under this com dot amazon dot custom listeners package so this is my class name my listener and this class should implement implements i test listener interface so in the test ng series we have already seen how we can implement the different types of listeners in the test ng so i am going to reuse that code directly over here so these are the methods from the i test listeners that we can implement so for now we will require this on test start and on test failure to take this screenshot so for now i will just remove this on test success and on test skipped and this one also we don't require as of now so just import this from the proper package so i test result so this result variable will have all the information related to the currently running method so if you want to print the method name then you can use this get name method so this will be printed when any test method is started so this is the on test failure so when any test method is failed then this method will be invoked automatically so under this method we need to take this screenshot so for the file utils we need to add the apache py library that we have not added it so we need to add the dependency for the apache py so added this dependency just save the pom.xml file so now you can import it from the apache.commons.io then take it from the selenium so for this driver we need to make this my listener class child of our base test so i will extend it first extends base test so we are going to create the dynamic screenshot name by using the method name that is failed and we will add the date and time okay so whatever current date and whatever current time is that time stamp will be added to our screenshot so that name we are going to give to our screenshot file so let's add the retry logic now so in the same package we will create another class so we need to implement the unimplemented method from the iretry analyzer so that also we have seen in the test ng series so in this we will provide the retry count initialized to zero and maximum retry count okay so this is the retry method that we have to implement so just using the simple if condition if the retry count is less than the maximum retry count and i result or result is not a success that means if it is a failure then increase the retry count and we are going to print the name of the method that we are retrying and the attempt number so when 
a test method is failed that will be retried for two more times so we have hard coded this value to 2 from the class itself but if you want we can store this value in the config.properties file and from there we can read it so this method should be invoked automatically when test case is failed so that information you need to provide in the my listener again so here we need to implement one more interface in the test ng that is i annotation transformer So this class my listener is going to implement uh, two interface one is i test listener and i annotation transformer so to provide the our retry analyzer class information we need to implement the method from this i annotation transformer so that is transform so using this annotation reference we can call set analyzer and here in the bracket we need to provide our analyzer class name that is my retry analyzer dot class so whenever a test case is failed it will take the screenshot on failure and it also invoke the retry method using this transform method so to apply this listener's logic in our suit just open the sanity.xml and regression.xml and in the suit level we need to provide our listener information where it is available so here we need to use the listener stack then use the listener class name so here we need to provide the fully qualified name from the package com.amazon.customlistners dot our class name so that is my listener so while running this sanity.xml whenever any test case from the sign in page test or registration page test fail then as per our logic from the i retry analyzer that method will be retried for two more times okay so that value you can change from here or from the config.properties file and on the test failure we will take the screenshot as well so all the screenshots we need to store in a separate folder so that folder we are going to create under the src test resources from the system dot get property user dot directory we will get the project location from the project location we will go to the src slash test resources slash screenshot so in the screenshot folder store all the screenshot with this dynamic screenshot name so, and that is our dot png extension so let us create this screenshot folder in our framework under the SRC test resources. So until now we created one parameter for the suit XML files that we added in the pom.xml file and the name of parameter we have used in our Surefire plugin. Then we implemented our custom listeners that is my listener in that we implemented two methods on test start and on test failure on test failure will take this screenshot with the dynamic name and that will be available in our screenshot folder in the framework so one more method we have implemented that is transfer to set the analyzer class in our framework so for the retry logic we implemented this my retry analyzer class in that we have this retry method so using this method a failed test case will be retried for two more times